Hello everyone. So today we will talk about RAM bleed. Before we start, I just want to re request everyone to like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel so that I can continue to make regular security news and other security stuff videos. So RAM bleed, it's a new side channel attack on DRAMs that actually allows the malicious programs which are not intended on your computers so it will allow the malicious programs to read sensitive information from other processes which are already running on your computer so if in case you are running some um, program which is using sensitive information like your username password or your security keys or your uh, other sensitive information it could be credit card information or anything these malicious programs can get that information from the DRAMs which are installed on the computers using a RAM bleed issue if in case you are not aware of DRAMs you are new to computers and security DRAMs are, are of two types um, RAMs are of two types static and dynamic and DRAMs are of different types uh, like DDR1, DDR2, 3 and 4 and they are installed on your um, computer they look like this you may have seen it uh, when when uh, you are uh, computer engineers in your company or outside install them on your laptops or computers so this one is a new side channel attack but before going into de uh, depth of ram bleed what are actually side channel attacks so side channel attacks are uh, attacks which where the attacker is trying to get information from your computer system and there are different types of side channel attacks as you can see on the screen cache attack timing attack power monitoring attack electromagnetic attack and differential fault analysis attack so quickly the first one cache attack is an example cache attack is some something when a malicious uh, software or attacker is trying to read the content inside the cache which is intended only to be used by the uh, um, by the software but this malicious uh, user would be um, uh, able to read the cache and that's one type of side channel attack so ram bleed is actually not a very new it's it's similar to row, row hammer which is a class of uh, attacks and there have been different variants of uh, row hammer which i'll quickly explain so before we understand ram bleed we have to understand row hammer which started few years back these are different variants of row hammer which were famous starting 2012 to 2014 and there have been different versions glitch rampage throw hammer net hammer drummer so why actually row hammer started it started somewhere around 2012 and that's because the the dram cell density because um, the cell density is increasing by the manufacturers for dram drams and they're decreasing the capacitor size because they're trying to make it smaller and smaller so over the past decades that has given rise to the reliability issue which is known as row hammer it's actually because of repeated access to the rows in dram which can lead to bit flips in the neighboring rows even if neighboring rows are not accessed so to summarize row hammer is a bug which is a hardware reliability issue that was found in the new generation of DRAM chips so as you can see on the screen there have been news about row hammer attacks and hacks um, in last few years this one is from 2018 where it says row hammer attack can hijack smartphones via browsers this one is glitch g l capital i t c h the next one is also glitch which says row hammer based glitch exploit emerges that can attack android devices via browsers in 2018 the next one says row hammer variant rampage targets android devices all over again this one is rampage r-a-m-p-a-g-e the next one is uh, throw hammer the news says packets over a lan are all it takes to trigger serious row hammer bit flips the next one is about uh, through hammer and net hammer which says um, oh great now there is a second remote row hammer exploit and the last one variant for uh, row hammer is a drummer d r a m m e r and the news says row hammer attack comes to android can root millions of uh, android devices but this one ram bleed is little different from uh, other variants and i'll explain quickly how so this one on the screen, uh, if you want to read proper research from the researchers about Rambleed, then you just type rambleed.com. And um, 
So how ram read is different? So all the previous attacks for the row hammer actually flip the bits in the victim's memory. So the data is changed. But this one ram read is different because it uses row hammer for reading data stored inside the computer's physical memory. So as the physical memory is shared among all the different processes running on the system, this discloses the data. So it's a data leak. In the research paper uh, on this website, the, uh, the researcher demonstrated an attack against OpenSSH, which is widely used for SSH, uh, in which uh, the researchers used Ramblead to leak a 2048-bit RSA key. So Ramblead is different because the other versions of Rohammer were only a threat to integrity because they were able to change the data. But Ramblead is actually more about confidentiality because it's leaking data. So initially when Rohammer was um, new to the market, uh, there, were, there were claims that Rohammer could be stopped with ECC, error correcting code memory. Um, but this one, the uh, RAM lead, proves that ECC is not going to protect the computers or the users against the RAM lead. So, so what is ECC memory? ECC memory is actually uh, in, in uh, every computer data storage, um, it's a type of memory that can detect and correct the most common kinds of internal data corruptions. These are mostly not used in uh, general computers, but uh, it's very useful uh, to use in um, computers uh, for scientific purposes or for financial computing. So the question, the big question is who all are impacted? Are we impacted because of RAM bleed? The answer is mostly yes. So it's not just computers, it's also the mobile devices. If you're using a mobile, that's also imp impacted here. So any system that uses a row hammer susceptible DIMMs are vulnerable. So another big question is how to fix this issue or how we can be safe. So for that, as per researchers, the answer is to upgrade your memory to DDR4. So if you're using a laptop or a computer, go to a computer engineer or your computer center or the shop, the computer guy, and ask them to upgrade your memory to DDR4 with targeted row refresh, TRR enabled. Although even if it's TRR enabled, targeted row refresh, it's not 100% security, but right now that's the best. Um, the researchers have already showed that uh, even with TRR, it can be um, vulnerable, but that's the best uh, solution right now because it's really hard to break in with the TRR enabled D DDR4. So TRR, TRR will automatically refresh possible victim rows with no negative impact on performance or um, power consumptions. So it's pretty safe. So that's pretty much for uh, this video. Before we finish, I just want to request everyone to um, go like my video and uh, give your comments for improvements. And also don't forget to subscribe to the, um, to the YouTube channel I have. Okay. That's all for now. Thank you everyone.